Hello and welcome. My name's Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases from Games Workshop and Forge World. Hope you've been enjoying all of the Tyranid content uh, the past week. Uh, there will be more Tyranid content coming to the channel, of course. Without further ado, let's jump on over to the Warhammer Community website right here. And if we go back a week ago to the 16th, I believe, right here. We had some pre-orders, but not a huge amount. It's mainly Warhammer Age of Sigmar, uh, the Dawnbringers Book 2, Reign of the Brute, and then a special edition, and then Trog's Great Trog Herd. A bit of a paywall to get this uh, new model. It's nice that you get these rock gut Trogoths with him, but I would have also preferred uh, if you could pick Trog up uh, individually. We'll see. Hopefully it won't be too long. Uh, could also pick up uh, Rabble Rouser for Glim Spike Gits and then the Oruk War Clans, a Cruel Boys Vanguard set, and Zogrok Anvil Smasher, the Tusk Boss on Moor Grunter. That looks quite a decent uh, kit though. Uh, Ard Boy Big Boss and Oruk Ard Boys, as well as Weird Brute Wreckers and Optional Assembly Brute Raggers. Uh, so a lot for Oruks. Um, that are going to be released today. Gloom Spike Gits, they had a set of dice, but I lost all interest in dice uh, ever since that they started charging more than a pound per dice. Um, you've got the Battle Tome Supplement Iron Jaws, which is a free download, which is nice. And then in Drasta, uh, available in um, hardback. So that was it for the pre-orders last week. The, the next day on the Sunday, as usual, about 6 p.m., uh, we have a look at what's up for pre-order. Now, these knights uh, for the Horus Heresy, these Serastus um, sized knights, it's nice that they've come out when they have, um, sort of before Space Marines and before the other Horus Heresy releases. However, yeah, having released both of them at the same time, and they are what, £120 kits or whatever, aren't they? It, it seems like a lot. Um, I would have preferred if they staggered them, have one night one week, one night another week. Even if it was just like a week apart, it would be nice to stagger. But no, they've uh, gone and released them both at the same time. Uh, so you can pick up the Acheron or the Castigator. No news whatsoever whether they'll even bring out a, uh, a Trapos um, or the larger Acastus um, sized knights like the Porphyrian or the Asterius, uh, we'll see. Um, it would be nice if they did do that, but yeah, price-wise and things and the size of those, the number of parts, it could be 150, maybe even 200. And I think those kits are 300 or 400 now. Uh, but we'll see. It would be nice to get in a trap horse, but um, it does have uh, vastly different armor segments and things, but it's possible. Anyway, another big news uh, that you can pre-order today uh, will be all this made-to-order scenery. I have this sort of, uh, I think it's called like an Aegis Defense line or something. Um, I don't have a Bastion, so I might pick up a Bastion today. Uh, I think they're pretty cool. Depends on the price, though. You know, Games Workshop. Uh, if anything, the price will have gone up over these years that it hasn't been available and not down, which I think is a real shame. They should be onto something if they release made-to-order kits at a vastly um at a vast discount that would be great and then we've got the i think this is it's called the wall of martyrs i have one of those i have this extra bit and i have this bunker i'd love to get a couple more of those bunkers though and i do have this landing pad um which is pretty nice but the bastion is the thing that i'm kind of looking out for uh, if it's at a good price you've also got some terrain kits this is just awful um the, the detail on uh, this one detail on that one is is not the best either. I have this large base detail kit and it's all right, um, but all of this stuff is made in China. It's not the best high detailed um, compared to the actual minis. Blood Bowl. We've got the Drac Fang Thirsters, so a new um, plastic team for vampires. Uh, you got the Vargeist gets a brute, and then Count Luthor as well as Captain uh, Karina, Ivan the Animal Death Shroud, and then Spike Journal Issue 16. Your Vampire Team Pitch Cards and Dice, 
and then Lord of the Rings gets a Fellowship of the Ring battle in Balin's tomb. Black Library, we've got For the Emperor, uh, a Cyphus uh, Kane novel uh, written by Sandy Mitchell. And then Warhammer Plus, uh, you've got Law Masters and a battle report with the Trogoths. So a lot to digest uh, on that Sunday. If we uh, move up, the next day it was about celebrate uh, Warhammer Day with brand new miniature. And this is the new miniature. So they're going for a Leagues of Votan miniature, which is definitely different to, uh, you know, Space Marines. New detachment rules, um, they get first look. So the new Terminators there, you can tell they're the new Terminators because there's a heavy flamer. And then there's a Chaplain. And then there's the Dreadnought that they still haven't released, which has multi-melters, whereas the range one does not. And look at a captain and things, so there is that article. Um, Warhammer Alliance get back to school uh, with the latest free packs for schools to get children into uh, Warhammer. Um, might be tongue in cheek for me to say this, but I think parents have a hard enough time paying for lunches uh, for the children, let alone uh, introduce them into a uh, luxury hobby. But what do I know? Uh, Blood Bowl revamping the vampire team's models. So a little, little article about the new team, it's quite nice. Uh, rumor engine for the 19th of September. Yeah, I mean, that looks like a Tyranid to me. It really does. The claws. I'd like it to be a Tyranid. I don't know. It's got a skull there, though. We'll see. Uh, Legions Imperialis, what makes a soldier auxiliary the best human soldiers around? And then New Serastis Knight painted uh, by the studio. So that's a nice pose. I'll probably go for that one. That's a very cool pose. That's nice. Yeah. Look at that pose. Hello. Yeah, some... Uh, I'm not quite sure about that one. Or that one. That's... I think that's sort of my pose that I went for, for the resin. Mm, yeah, there's some, some nice poses, but yeah. It's up to you which you think is the best pose, I guess. Uh, celebrate 20 years of Cyphus Kane with the first three books, print on demand. So look at all of these by Sandy Mitchell. Never thought there were so many of those novels, but there are. Uh, all about the reign of the brutes uh, on Warhammer Plus. If you haven't already, um, <laughs> well, my Warhammer Plus got renewed for 50 quid, uh, like automatically, and I can't remember seeing an email or anything so just bear that in mind yours probably got renewed like last month or something it depends when you subscribe to warhammer plus but yeah 50 pound was a bit of a shock just you know taking out my account um i might cancel it just because of that uh i have rarely used warhammer plus all this year i got the assassin obviously um but i uh, you know just haven't really watched any of the content so um yeah, and I'm kind of paying five quid a month for it. So I, I, it's mainly because I'm just not watching it. I just haven't got around. I've been watching other things, doing other things. Um, but, uh, and the models this year as well aren't the best, I don't think. Um, I'm getting the... Uh, Sob Like Gravelord's uh, model, and then that's about it. Uh, building Thrastus Knights, uh, Blood Bowl, How the Vampire Team Rose Again. Uh, you've got Discover the Divine Blessings uh, for the Crusade. And then on Heresy Thursday, we had a look at the new Legion Praetor uh, for Space Wolves. The, yeah, it looks one of the best Space Wolves models they've brought out for a while. I like it. I like the runes, I like the armor. Um, I like the helmet is good with this kind of Viking. Uh, yeah, we look, we'll always like look at space wolves, like space Vikings, but this Viking kind of like top motif thing, um, reminiscent of, you know, the, uh, front of longboats and things. You've got this wolf, um, pelt apparently 
there's nice detail on there. You know, the fur doesn't look like maggots, like the old Forge World models, the older Forge World models. The shield is pretty nice. It's good that it's got a shield and that there's a strap on as well. Can't be a good strap on. And uh, the heads, I mean, the heads look vastly better. Uh, I like these different kind of grills that they've gone for, especially like the, you know, claw slashes. I think it works very well. I like the jewels, the tops of the heads again a little bit like viking helmets um vastly you know vastly superior to uh the the wolf um helmets that we had before they were just awful and you know that they're awful because they've completely replaced them with these <laughs> they obviously didn't sell um Codet space marines new detachments and then golden demon 2024 returns And then you've got the category list. I know a couple of people that probably will. I mean, look at that. Yeah, that's just incredible, isn't it? I know a couple of people that will put entries in, and I wish them the best. Uh, Dawnbringer Chronicles 7. Bear witness to these monstrously corrupted knights of House Maccabeus. That's interesting. It uses like a Chaos Realm gate. So if we just go down here, look at these. Very cool. And this thing. Look at that. I'm not sure how that even works, but, you know, whether it would deal with the re... And I don't know what's going on here with this tiny little arm thing or, or this. The arms look very small. Porfarian looks all right, though. I mean, I have to say that because it's kind of in my colour scheme, this black and gold. But anyway, that's all the news uh, for this week. Not a huge amount of news compared to, you know, the week before. Um, we're probably going to get more and more uh, Space Marine articles and, yeah, potentially Horus Heresy articles over the next uh, few weeks as they release the rest of their their minis. Let's go on over to Forge World and have a look. And right here, big advert again for the Arvis lighter. You click on it and uh, it's out of stock. Well, you click on it and it just shows you all the flyers and then that one stands out because it's the only one out of stock which is just really poor um you know it, it is frustrating guys don't get me wrong uh, if you're still waiting for an harvest lighter then um, forge world go for a long time without releasing anything without releasing any anything big any big vehicles or monstrous creatures or anything like that and then when they do they can't supply uh that they can't keep up with the demand which is yeah disappointing puts you off as well um but you can also pick up the loyalist champion console um, and no doubt the recently announced uh, Traitor uh, console will be up for pre-order soon, I think. Uh, but that's it. Um, so there's no pre-orders from Forge World. Let's go on over to Games Workshop and have a look at these knights. Okay, and here we are on Games Workshop's uh, web store. Um, and on the very first page, uh, they're showcasing both of the knights um, there uh, to pre-order. Uh, they are the same price as the Knight Lancer that was released a month or so ago, I think it was, and um, probably a bit more now. But if we click on uh, new and exclusive, it will eventually take us to the pre-orders, and we view all, and we go high to low, and the knight should be there straight away. So yeah, £120 uh, for the Castigator. Um, yeah, of course, that is, what, £80 cheaper than, you know, the resin um, knight when that was available. I think you could pick them up in a bundle for about 300 something uh, and I picked them up a few years ago, uh, but of course now, you know, 120 with your discount, you're going to be looking at under £100 uh, for each of them. So, yeah, kind of half price, but they'll have a little bit less detail and of course they'll have a lot more parts, so they'll take you a fair bit longer to build. But saying that, the Serastis Knight Castigator in plastic um, consists of one, two, three, four, five... Um, sprues. This is a new sprue that we haven't seen before. This is for, I think, the Castigator and the Atron. Uh, it's Lynx uh, for the ammo feed, I think. Uh, so that'll be interesting to look at. Uh, 247 plastic components, quite a lot. Um, this is one of their biggest kits, anything over sort of 200 um, pieces. The Serastis Knight Atron uh, has a slightly different um, kind of flame. It's a shame that you don't have a 360 view of these uh, knights, but um, that looks different. But on here it's showing this 
sprue so I'm not quite sure about that um, it probably is different though because you can see that they're more square the the ammo feed we'll find out when we uh, unbox and review them but anyway the Atron has a few more it has six uh, more components 253 for the Atron, but both the same price. Um, this was from last week, so the Dawnbringers uh, Trucks Great Truck Herd was last week. So was the War Clans and the Book and the other Oryx. Uh, the Cyphus Cyphus Cane for the Emperor Special Edition book, forty five pounds. You can still pre order it. Wow, what did you know? A numbered book that you can still pre order. Um, so yeah, that's good. Um, the made to order uh scenery kit so you've got this and these are actually not that badly priced i thought that these would be a bit more so the sky shield landing pad which is huge um can't really fit a thunderhawk on it but definitely your imaginary arvis lighter um the imperial bastion 40 pounds wall of martyrs 37 pound 50 i think that's a bit, a bit too much uh, you've got the Oryx from last week. Uh, you've got the new Blood Bowl um, Vampire Team uh, double-sided pitch and dugout set, £32.50. For the team, it's £31.50, which is quite good. Um, the Wall of Martyrs Imperial Defence Line, £30. I think that's a bit too pricey. And the Aegis Defence Line, I would have liked to have seen that to be 20 something The Imperial Bunker, yeah, that could have been great for 20-odd pounds. Uh, you've got the Dawnbringers book uh, from last week and the uh, Oryx. You've got the large detailed base. I definitely would not pay that price. Uh, Glimpse White Gits was last week and the Hero Bases. No way would I pay for that price. Um, and then you've got more Oryx and Gloom Spite. You've got the uh, Blood Bowl Vampire Team card pack for 19 Idras the Celestial Spear for £15. Pretty good to see a hardback book at £15. You've got the Vampire Dice team set for 13 So, and then you've got the Spike. So, so if you wanted to get all of the uh, Vampire Team Blood Bowl products today, that would be a, you, you need to get your Spike Journal for it as well. So that would be £10, 23 for the dice, 42 uh, with the cards. You've got the team itself, which would be 73 and then the dugout. So for £105 or so, you get everything, which isn't too bad if you're only going to get one team for Blood Bowl and you're going to keep using them and, and things like that. It's just, you know, one-off payment, 100 odd pounds, and uh, you, you're you good to have some games. So that's it for the pre-orders today. Quite a lot, in a way, in terms of the Blood Bowl and the Mater Order scenery and the two big uh, nights. What do you guys think of all of the new pre-orders and things um, so far? Uh, what do you think of the, the nights as well? Um, and do you think that there should be a uh, an Atrapos uh, in plastic? Please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments as always. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.